absolutely guarantee it's not this good. Right, I'm bored of this. Let's skip through. Okay, here we go. So, this magnificent game was on offer this weekend. Ford Racing 3, so I thought, let's jump in. Okay, so here we are, Ford Racing 3. Never played this before. Right, it's thrown me straight in here, and I have no idea what the controls are, so this is going to be fun. Forward is go. And the steering is awful. It's going reasonably well so far, holding down P2, doing much better than I was on Wild Animal Racing. I've decided that uh, that Lotus can go for a walk. This guy is so rude. This Lotus is a joke. He just keeps coming back. I just keep, like, smashing him off. And then he's like, no, I'm not going to accept that. But down the inside we go. And that's not the right way to do that corner. But it's fine, because we are now winning. B, what's that done? What on earth is that? What possible benefit does that have with regard to the game? I mean, it says a lot about the standard of opposition when I'm winning the first race. But we'll take it. We will take it. It's P1. Me and my Mustang. You win. Thank you. Thank you, I do win. With a 118 as my best lap. And in we go again. This time as a truck. And they're going to be trucking furious with my ability. That was a terrible pun. I must say, this game is more realistic than Wild Animal Racing. But other things that are more realistic than Animal Racing include Dora the Explorer, Pepper Pig, and Thomas the Tank Engine. This track is very bouncy, very bouncy indeed, and I nearly hit into a shed, and I've nearly hit into a tree, and I've nearly rolled it, and I'm not going the right way at all, and it's now P5. Extremely well executed corner, a 353 foot drift, oh, and now I'm sideways, and everyone's come steaming through. Oh, dearie me, that was an absolute horror story. I've done undone all the good work. Over the river we go. Oh, get out of the way. Oh, no. I'm now sideways again. Oh, that's a big crash. Oh, that's a big crash indeed. But it's fine because I've held P2. I don't know. They must be catastrophically slow if I've held P2 after that monstrosity. These pickup trucks I am the master of because that's another win. I am absolutely smashing this game. Right, movie car chases. Absolutely no idea what this will involve, but we're going to try. I've only got this car. Right, I've no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. What well, I don't understand what part of this is particularly special, but... but Oh! What was that? That's outrageous driving from the guy, the green car. I don't know what car that is. It looks very odd. That's outrageous. That swerve. That swipe. It's the sort of thing you'd expect... Well, not on this game. Anyway, we're into P2. And we're now into P1. This is this is very easy. This game is ridiculously easy. It's like it's dull it's so easy it's dull. Well, it's dull for a number of other reasons, but one of those reasons is because it's too easy. I feel like Vettel in the 2011 season. Sub 130. Oh, it's going to be very close indeed and I'm going to do it. With a 128. You win. I do win. You're quite right. Tell you what, this game is more engaging than F1 2016's career mode. Look at this, we're on to another one now. I've gone from 6th to 1st in the first 10 seconds. That, to me, is a game that's too easy. And that, to me, is a bush in the way. What on earth is this? Wow, they've actually put loads of effort into the aesthetics here. I mean, the graphics... The graphics are questionable. The realism is open for debate, we'll say. But, you know, they've actually put some solid work in here. I mean, look at that bridge. It's, I mean, that town I just went through is marvellously put together. And now we're in some sort of digger site. And they've got JCBs left, right and centre. This is excellent. Codemasters could learn a lot from the creators of this game. This, I'm impressed. I am very impressed with this game. I mean, apart from the fact that the computers are too easy. But I'm on the easy section of the career. But for, for a quid, this is decent. Considering Wild Animal Racing was well over two pounds, that's a, that's a rip-off compared to what we've got here. Compared to this masterpiece. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll take that back. I don't think masterpiece is the appropriate 
term to describe a game where where the graphics are comparable with Nintendo 64, but uh, <laughs> but you know it's 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 solid. I'm about to expose quite a gaping corner cut in this game um, by doing that and literally gaining about five seconds in one corner. And that's only the second time I've done this lap, so it's not that well hidden, I'll be honest. That is a bit of a flaw, but Finish. I've finished first, and you no one win. can have any complaints with that. If you'd like me to do this career, then I'm more than happy to, because this is this is some engaging stuff. I reckon we've got, I reckon this has got potential. This is a real complex career mode, and I think, whew, I think... I think, you know, EA, Codemasters, you big racing game creators should be concerned because this is this is a real claim to fame. This is a real, real solid piece of work. Thank you for watching and goodbye.